Hey, how you going? Oh, can't. Mm, damn. How you going everyone? Hopefully this is live. Supposedly you can't uh, film on the side, so I've just had to rotate my phone. Hopefully you, uh, that's working for you. Uh, so welcome back. Coach Jono has returned. It has been, I think, three weeks since I've done one of these. Uh, so the main reason why is, uh, unfortunately, I find myself quite addictive, addicted to social media. So uh, I have chosen to give myself a little bit of a ban. I have not been on social media that much uh, for the past three weeks, um, just because I found that I was doing it way too much. Uh, I will go into more detail in another uh, Self-Reflection Sunday, but for this Self-Reflection Sunday, I would actually like to sort of uh, do a bit of a year in review, as it is my birthday today, so I'd like to sort of go over what has happened in the last year. Uh, so what I will do is I'll just bring up my iPad because I did write some notes um, and uh, just make sure what I will do is quickly share my uh, this feed over to my Facebook page. So I'm making sure that everyone knows that it's aware, that it's on because, and it looks like it's upside down. So better make sure I turn that up the right way. Oh dear, this is a schmozzle if I've ever seen one. I apologize, I should know better than this. I should know better than this, there we go. Hopefully that is the right way. Hopefully that's the right way, but now, tripod. Oh dear. This is the fun of live, people. This is the fun of live. We get all the bloopers, no cuts, no edits. You just gotta roll with the punches. Let me just check to make sure that that is the right way. Hopefully it is, there we go. Fantastic. Let me just write a post and we can just, there we go. So making sure everyone's made aware of it. Let me pull up my notes. What did I write down? Okay, so in the past 12 months since the last 8th of July, which is my birthday, uh, I have, uh, moved to Sydney. That's probably one of the biggest things that I have done. Hello, James. Thanks for joining me, Dad. Uh, always good to see that you're on my lives. Um, so the biggest thing that I have done since uh, my last birthday is I have moved to Sydney. Uh, quite a big decision. I was living in South Australia at the time uh, with uh, Mum and Dad, and uh, you know, deciding whether I'd move to Sydney, obviously, a pretty big deal. Um, I did have a job, um, but you know, obviously I was doing it remotely at the time, and, and do I move to Sydney? Uh, and obviously it was a very big advantage for me to move to Sydney. I had learnt so much more by being in office uh, at Com. So yeah, definitely an advantage there. Um, so uh, in September I went to Nepal and I went to base camp. Hey Kat, how you going? Thanks for joining me. Um, I went to Nepal and went to base camp. Now I'm gonna preface this. Yes, I did just go to base camp. That is still 5,364 meters high. So uh, it is definitely quite high. Uh, it was 70 kilometers from Lukla to base camp. Um, so for all those people that said, oh, thank you, Kat, I appreciate it. Um, for all those people that uh, say, oh, you just went to base camp, how high have you been? Because I've been pretty bloody high. 5,364 metres specifically. But that's beside the point. Okay, so yes, went to Nepal, went to base camp. I was very happy with that. I was very pleased with that because I survived my uh, travelling uh, companion, Josh. He did not. He had to get flown down because uh, uh, he was a little bit unwell. Had a bit of a headache, a bit of a sook, if you ask me. Got flown down. Free helicopter ride. Uh, from there, I started an outdoor boot camp just down the road. Uh, obviously, talked about it for a very long time, um, and you know, uh, I've, I've actually since stopped that. But um, I did start that up and, and was running that, and it was quite successful. Uh, I ran that for a good four months, 
Now the really the, the big thing holding me back, unfortunately, is the weather. Uh, I do dislike uh, the Sydney weather, if I'm if I'm truly honest, because uh, it doesn't make up its mind. It's raining. It's not. Make up your mind, people. Uh, from there, I started uh, Muay Thai and uh, you know kickboxing. Uh, I was talking a lot about doing some sort of martial arts. I started that, did that from November until just last month. So what's that, six, seven months? Um, now I've stopped that because it wasn't as fulfilling as I would have liked and I've now started jiu-jitsu. Uh, so I'm finding that uh, a lot. Uh, hey, JJ, thanks for joining me. Um, I found that a lot more interesting personally. Um, so I'm doing uh, jiu-jitsu about four to five times a week, depending on how the body's going. I've only been doing it for two weeks. Um, but I've got the, uh, the gi, and you know, I've got the pajamas, I've got my white belt, and uh, we'll see how we go with that one. Hopefully uh, I can survive and not get uh, beaten up too bad, um, but yes. And uh, yeah, well, probably one of the biggest things uh, that I've done uh, this year is shave off the moustache. Uh, so obviously, uh, the people have seen me without the moustache for the first time in three years. Been growing it since 2015. Um, and, you know, obviously that was a big decision to remove the mo. As you can see, it's a, it's a part of the brand, uh, it's a part of the logo. Um, and, uh, yeah, I've, I removed it about three weeks ago. Just something different, wanted to change it up um, to see if uh, it would make that much of a difference. Um, one thing I am actually quite disappointed about, if I'm completely honest, is that everyone said that I look better without the moustache. Not one person has said I look good with a moustache. It's a bit of a shame because obviously I'm gonna grow it back. And great news is that that is starting today. Um, so yes, for all the people that said I look better without a moustache, too bloody bad. I'm growing it back because it's a part of the brand, it's a part of the tradition, it's a part of the look. So, too bad, so sad. I don't mind, because I like the moustache. I think I look better without it. Uh, fun fact, I actually got asked for ID last night, because obviously I look like a 12-year-old boy without a moustache. And uh, I'm now 28, just a little bit over the uh, drinking age limit. So, uh, you know, going to the pub, haven't been asked for ID for a few years anyway. But last night got asked twice at two different pubs because they were like, well, he must be about 12 with that uh, fresh face. So yes, obviously that is, uh, I, much, I must look much younger without the moustache, but yes. So on reflecting this year, the past year that has been since last birthday to this birthday, I felt that uh, I have grown quite a lot. Uh, and one thing that has changed, other than literally removing the moustache, is my look in general. Uh, my haircut has changed, I just got a haircut uh, on, on Friday. Um, but uh, making sure that uh, my appearance is much better, um, probably taking care of my physical appearance a lot more, you know, what I'm wearing um, and how I maintain that. So, you know, I've talked about this in the past, uh, you know, making sure I iron my shirts, um, you know, the simple things. Uh, you know, making sure my hair is nice and done, making that I do shave, um, you know, quite often, which of course is always annoying. I don't like to do that, but obviously it looks much better than having, you know, a, a sort of crappy stubble. So, you know, that's one thing that I think I've learned. One there is, is presentation. And, you know, we often say don't judge a book by its covers, but unfortunately we are quite a judgy, we are quite judgy people. So we do judge people. So people are going to judge me, and if, if they see me and I look disheveled, they'll probably think that I'm disheveled. But uh, obviously I don't want to portray that, so I've got to present myself a little bit better. So yes, uh, I'd be interested to hear what uh, everyone else has done over the past 12 months, how they have grown. Hopefully they have, because of course we want to keep growing. Um, and uh, I was reflecting on this before I, I jumped on the live video, and... You know, it was, it was interesting. I remember as a kid, you always wanted to be older, you know, um, from a, generally from about 18 below. You generally wanted to always be older because, oh, you can't have fun when you're a kid because you, got, you can only do this and, you know, you have to wait till you're 16 to get your license and then you've got to do your L's and all that. 
and then you can get a car. Oh, once I get a car, it'll be so much better. Or, you know, once I'm 18, I'll be able to go out and drink. It'll be that much better. Be able to do all these things. And then once you go over, probably over about 25, you don't want to get any older. And, uh, you know, I, I don't like aging in that regard. Uh, of course, who does? It's, it's not the most exciting thing, uh, growing older. But I always enjoy uh, growing. Not necessarily aging, but growing. I really enjoy growing as a person, trying to make myself better. It's obviously what I try to do for other people as well. That's why I uh, do these videos, because hopefully you can get a little bit out of it, um, and hopefully you can learn a little bit. So I'd like for you, what I'd like for you to do over you know, the next few hours of uh, this lovely Sunday is maybe reflect what, what's happened since your last birthday. Uh, you know, Hopefully it's been more than a little bit, so you can sort of reflect because uh, I know there's been a few of my friends that have had their birthdays uh, over July. So, you know, what has happened since your last birthday? How have you grown? Uh, and not necessarily just aged, how have you grown? Uh, have you, you know, gotten rid of maybe a toxic relationship with a friend or, or a partner, something along those lines? Have you changed jobs? Um, have you moved cities like I have? Have you gone on a trip? and you know, uh, learn something. You know, I think that was probably one of the big things from going to Nepal, it's a third world country. You know, you, you sort of uh, really appreciate the small things because you know, the Nepalese, they're very, very, very friendly people and they have very little, uh, but they're so willing to give and that's one thing that I really appreciated about the Nepalese people that uh, you know, they may not have much, but they're willing to give and they're just so friendly. Uh, always recommend um, going to Nepal, checking it out. It's a lovely place. But uh, yeah, so I'd love to know how you've grown. Um, you know, please leave me a comment. I'll review them and, and you know, all of that. But uh, you know, that's, I just wanted to share what I've learned and how I've grown over the past 12 months and then ask you the question, how you've grown. Uh, I will be getting back to these self-reflection Sundays. I really enjoy them because it gives me a chance to sort of reflect, look back at a... A particular topic like I mentioned at the start of the video I've had a bit of a break off of social media uh, and I'll be talking about that in the future probably next self-reflection Sunday uh, so I can actually uh, give my views and, and what I've learnt from you know working in marketing and social media uh, now to sort of giving myself a little bit of a break because uh, I, I really did need it it was um, becoming uh, quite the addiction and not a good one not a good addiction uh, like say fitness or something or nutrition or something along those lines they can be those good addictions uh, but yes that's what I wanted to talk about today hopefully you've enjoyed it uh, if you have please feel free to give me a comment give me some uh, loves give me some thumbs up and uh, share it with someone if you think that they could benefit from this I'll be ensuring that I uh, do these every Sunday I'd love to know what's a better time for you morning or afternoon I'm pretty flexible. Uh, I'd love to know what is a better time. If you would prefer them in the morning, I'll do them in the morning. Prefer them at night, I'll do them at night. I like to do it when obviously the sun is up so I can get a bit of reflection in here so I'm nicely lit, you know, showing off the, the hairdo, the orange headband, the new coming mustache. Look, it's, it's, it's two days in. It's coming back, people. It's, it's getting there. All right, thanks, team. Really appreciate you joining me.